Thank you, Dr. Chander. Thank you, Sanjana ji, and uh, for inviting me to this forum. I must have discussed this in a long time. Amrish jante hain ki pichhe 15 saalon se he has been visiting ICMR. और हर वक्त हमसे पूछते रहते हैं कि क्या डेवलपमेंट है क्या पॉसिबल से मस्कुलर डिस्ट्रॉफी के लिए तो ये एक बहुत बड़ा अनमेट हमें पता है कि मस्कुलर डिस्ट्रॉफी पेशेंट्स के लिए अदर देन फिजियोथेरेपी आज की डेट में कोई सॉल्यूशन नहीं है मगर ये बात यहाँ नहीं है हमारे पास कई सारी टेक्नोलॉजीज डेवलप हो रही हैं उस टेक्नोलॉजी जब डेवलप होती हैं जैसे डॉक्टर लाल ने बड़े स्ट्रॉन्गली कहा आई टोटली कि आज की तारीख डॉक्टर्स जो प्राइवेट प्रैक्टिशनर्स हैं या जो मस्कुलर डिस्टर्बेंस को मिसलीड कर रहे हैं और डिफरेंट अन साइंटिफिकली और अन एथिकल अप्लाइंग स्टेम सेल्स हम अच्छे से जानते हैं कि ये जेनेटिक डिजीज है इसमें स्टेम सेल का कोई भी रोल नहीं है बट सम ऑफ दीज इंस्टीट्यूशन सो कॉल्ड डॉक्टर्स मतलब एक तरफ आप देख रहे हैं कि इतने कंपैशनेट डॉक्टर्स जो आपको फ्री uh, में एंड दे आर वेलकमिंग यू टू कम एंड एक्सेस टू द अवेलेबल फैसिलिटीज एट पी चंडीगढ़ और एनी अदर हॉस्पिटल इन द कंट्री Uh, but some of these doctors they are misleading patients and as we know the many of the parents and the patients are getting desperate to avail these new uh, therapeutics new generation therapeutics which we don't know that there is no, no not there is no scientific evidence for that and hamare kafi efforts rahe hain ki hum is bare mein aam janta ko aur sare stakeholders ko एजुकेट करें और अवेयर करें कि व्हाट इज द डेवलपमेंट इन द फील्ड इन द साइंटिफिक फील्ड और इस टेक्नोलॉजीज की क्या आज की तारीख में स्टेटस है काफी एफर्ट आईसीएमआर ने पिछले 20 साल में किए हैं हमने थ्रू अवर गाइडलाइंस थ्रू अवर फ्रीक्वेंटली आस क्वेश्चंस थ्रू डिसमिनेशन ऑफ प्रोग्राम ऑल ओवर इंडिया हम अलग अलग रीजन्स में जाके लोगों को अवेयरनेस पहुंचाने की कोशिश कर रहे हैं उनको एजुकेट करने की कोशिश कर रहे हैं मुझे याद है जब पेशेंट्स मुझे कॉल करते हैं मस्कुलर डिस्ट्रॉफी के यंग बॉयज एंड दे रियली गेटिंग आई मीन डेस्परेट टू अवेल दीज थेरापीज मेनी ऑफ दिस पेरेंट्स दे हैव जस्ट वॉट एवर असेट्स दे हैड दे हैव सोल्ड देयर असेट्स एंड एक्सेस टू द वॉट यू से द स्टेम सेल अवेलेबल a fake stem cell therapy in the country um, we this has been very challenging for icmr how to stop these uh, centers but uh, we have some success since 2017 or aaj bhi ab ministry ne lead liya hai ki how we can revise our drug and cosmetic act and ye sare jo हॉस्पिटल्स हैं जो अनप्रूवन थेरेपीज ऑफर करते हैं या जो पायलट uh, स्टडी के नाम से पेशेंट्स को गिनीपिक बनाते हैं और क्लिनिकल ट्रायल के नाम से पेशेंट्स को ये इस थेरेपीज को सब्जेक्ट uh, करते हैं उनको कैसे रोक लगाना है या कैसे रेगुलेशंस बनाने बड़े रिसेंटली अभी पेपर में था कि वी आर मिनिस्ट्री हेज टेकन अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट डिसीजन दैट द बिल हैज बिन पास की न्यू Uh, the drug and cosmetic act needs to be revised and we need to regulate all these activities in the country jahan tak icmr ki baat hai icmr ek uh, national biomedical research funding organization hai under the health ministry and also the uh, major advisory uh, body to uh, and um, i should say technical and a scientific and a medical acumen of the country so Uh, हमने काफी कोशिश की की है पिछले कई सालों से बट द रेयर डिजीज कंसोशियम विच हैज बीन एस्टेब्लिश इन द इन आईसीएमआर सी इज वर्किंग टुवर्ड्स दिस फॉर अ देर इज अ कंसर्टेड एफर्ट्स टू बिल्ड सम रजिस्ट्रीज द रजिस्ट्री हैज बीन ऑलरेडी इनिशिएटेड फॉर मस्कुलर डिस्ट्रॉफी एंड अदर न्यूरो मस्कुलर डिसऑर्डर्स सो वी डोंट हैव 
द स्टॉक ऑफ द सिचुएशन कि हमारे पास कितने पेशेंट्स हैं क्या है क्या सिचुएशन है उसकी सो डॉक्टर वर्मा वॉज स्पीयर हेडिंग दैट रजिस्ट्री एंड वी हैव नाउ इनिशिएटेड दिस रजिस्ट्री इन आई सी एम आर एज डॉक्टर चांडक ऑल्सो मैंशन दैट वी हैव a uh, very important program of rare disease consortium rare disease task force so lot many activities has been initiated on that front other on the other hand we have also uh, trying to get the new generation technologies in india make in india kind of a initiative where to make it affordable for our patients in the country for the genetic disorders for the g kind of a gene therapy solutions so icmr is taken a, for is in the forefront to establish indigenous vector development which is a very important component of the gene therapy so that we can develop these vectors indigenously and develop the gene therapy solutions for the patients suffering with genetic disorders and there are many more tie ups we are doing we are encouraging people from overseas to come and develop these gene therapies in india so that it is accessible to the patients of india it is benefited the patients are uh, patients in our country are benefited and they can participate in this good work and we can join hands to develop these affordable accessible and available gene therapy solutions for the patients so but it's not going to be immediately there it is going to take ages to bring this to the bed side but we have to join hands to get this kind of activity initiated in india so we are also initiated a task force on gene therapy under which we have funded some projects and uh, our um, expert group and also uh, you will have the speaker next speaker i think is dr arkar shubhra ghosh who is, who is going to give you the and he has also worked very hard to uh, and also uh, trying to get some gene therapy solutions in india we are trying to build some indigenous uh, products so that we uh, it's available for our um, uh, our patients in india at the same time i agreed with dr lal and also dr varma we need to create and education and awareness for our patients because they should not fall prey to these unethical practices which are happening in the country i know the desperation of patients even i mean when when somebody in my family falls sick uh, we know that uh, we go for look for whatever possible solution available so wo karta hai marta na karta kya wali baat hoti hai and people start um reaching out to hakim baba and all these uh, different kinds of uh, people those who are giving hope to this desperate uh, patients at the same time i was thinking along with the awareness education we need to have a standard protocol for a therapy therapeutic protocol or a workflow for muscular dystrophy i am sure icmr has recently released the third volume of uh, stw uh, day before yesterday and uh, that that also has been i mean i mean like that we need to join hands and we need to uh, share our experiences to build this and and give a standard therapeutic protocol for the patients or the different stakeholders in the country and create an awareness of the patients and patient the parents who are attending the patient or the organizations like this we have a i'm happy to see there is a very good network of this indian association of muscular dystrophy and there are many of such uh, more ngos which are working in different parts of the country i think uh, this is high time uh, in sabko saath mein ek jhoot ho ke ek consortium banana chahiye and inke paas jo bhi funding hai ये फंडिंग मैक्सिमाइज होनी चाहिए और यूटिलाइज होनी चाहिए फॉर साइंस एंड टेक्नोलॉजी डेवलपमेंट एज वेल एज प्रोवाइडिंग अ गुड बेसिक रिक्वायरमेंट्स और थेरापटिक रिक्वायरमेंट्स फॉर दीज पेशेंट्स 
and whatever phys uh, physiotherapy or whatever program Sanjana ji is running, I really hats up to Sanjana ji, the kind of facility you have built from the scratch for past 20 years. I really, it's a commendable job. It's a, it must be a real big mission. And uh, those who have contributed to that, I really um, thankful to them that uh, this kind of activity is possible. Yehi ek example hai, we can say that when we come together, ek jut ho jayen, to we can do wonders. We can make answer all the questions to the patients who are suffering with this uh, debilitating st the diseases, not only muscular dystrophy, but other such genetic diseases. So I think uh, very important for us to create an awareness among the patient. I also suggest if you have a focus group discussion separately with patients and then doctors with patients, the caregivers with doctors and patients, because what they go through when they have uh, their child suffering or anybody close suffering with this kind of a disease they need. And many of these institutions, even I can suggest the name of Dr. H.S. Chabra, though that is a, he's a director of the Indian Spinal Injury Center in Delhi. Uh, they are doing really good work for Spinal Injury Center, but he can very well give his ideas for uh, even muscular dystrophy and he'll never uh, take a step back. He'll come forward and help and create. He's doing a lot of these activities, creating awareness in the field of spinal injury center or other such uh, kind of a condition. So I think uh, we can bring people together, like-minded people, those who want to put efforts, work together, set up a committees, advisory committees, also set up a, a community uh, advocacy group and we can work together and do concerted effort to fight this and be a strong pillar and a support to muscular dystrophy patient group and their caregivers and the person like Sanjana ji who is doing such a uh, good work for this community. Thank you so much Sanjana ji and it's a long awaited. I'm sorry I could not make it in person. I couldn't make it in person. But I will come to this temple. I want to come to this temple. And for many years, I'm online. You have done me darshan today, virtually. But in physically, I'll be there very soon. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much.